All right, so now we are doing uh, solving linear equations that includes a bracket. So we have a bracket here and we have to open the bracket first, okay? So when we open the bracket, what we do is the number outside will times both the terms inside, okay? So 3 times 5x, so 3 times 5 is 15, so that becomes 15x, and 3 times 1, so it's plus in between, 3 times 1 is 3, minus 4 equals 29. So here we can see that on the left-hand side, we can solve the numbers first, right? So we have 15x and 3 minus 4 gives us minus 1 equals 29. Now we will add 1 on both sides. 1 minus 1 is 0, 29, excuse me, uh, 15x is equals to 29 plus 1 is 30. So now we will divide by 15 on both sides and that gives us x is equals to 2. All right, so that is one of the question. Let's do a couple more. So let us suppose we have another question and this question is 2 bracket 3y minus 5 minus 3 is equals to 42.2 decimals. Let's make it fun. Okay, so again, Open the bracket first, so 2 times 3 is 6, so we have 6y minus 2 times 5 is 10, minus 3 equals 42.2. Again, we can solve the numbers first on the left-hand side, so we will do 6y minus 13 equals 42.2. Two. Now, we have to add 13 on both sides. Okay, so 13 minus 13 is 0. We have 6y is equals to, now we have to do 42 plus 13. You can do it using calculators. You can do it using head, uh, in your head, or as we have done decimals. So decimal under decimal, we put a 0 there, and now you can add. So that becomes 2, decimal, 5, and 5. All right, practice doing it without calculator. The more you practice, the better you will get into it. Okay, so it is 55 times 2, and then you divide by 6 on both sides. So y is equals to 55.2 divided by 6. Again, you can use your calculators if you want, or we know how to do long division. So let's do long division. We have 6. 55.2 so 6 times what number is closer and smaller to 55 so we can say 6 times what 6 times 8 is 48 6 times 9 is 54 right so 6 times 9 is 54 we are left with 1.2 the one there and then point goes up to Sorry, point doesn't come down, point just goes up. And then 2 comes down, so 6 times 2 is 12. And you cross, or you can write 0 because you subtract. And then you have 0 there. Let's make it 0. It's easier to understand that way. Let's make it 0. So the answer is y is equals to 9.2. But yeah, you can use your calculators as it is allowed in the exams as well. Okay, so cool. I hope this makes sense. One more question, the last question from me. Uh, let's find a difficult one. So 184 is equals to 3 times 7y minus 7 minus 5. Again, written on either side, doesn't matter where it is written. You can swap it. If, if that helps you, you can write it as 3 times 7y minus 7 minus 5 equals 184. You can write that question in that way if that helps in understanding. But there is no uh, rule of yes, you can do or you cannot do. Okay, so let's open the bracket first. 3 times 7 is 27, uh, 21y. Again, 3 times 7 is 21, minus 5 equals 184. 
solve the numbers first so we have 21 y minus 21 minus 5 x minus 26 equals 184 it's minus so we have to add 26 on both sides so when we add 26 on both sides that can cancel so we have 21 y all right 184 plus 26 gives us 10 1 carry 1 11 and 210 then divide by 21 on both sides you get y is equals to 10 because 210 divided by 21 is 10 okay or you can do the long division again you know how to do that so 21 times 1 is 21 you're left with 0 you take away 0 21 times 0 is 0 okay Left with zero. So the answer is 10. Great. Have a good day.